House in New York City. You're looking at a live picture. They're still very, very quiet. We are still awaiting a verdict from the jury in the Trump criminal trial. Of course, we could get it as early as today. But again, it's anyone's guess exactly when it will happen. Yes, tick tock, <laughs> tick tock. We yes. are waiting. Mm -hmm. so don't everyone at home don't think we don't have our eye on things. We certainly do. It's just not much has happened the last few hours. Again, this comes after the jury asked to review the testimony of National Law Inquirer founder David Pecker, former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen, uh, seeking further clarification and from the instructions from Judge Mershon as well. That's right. And back with us are former acting attorney general Matt Whitaker and former federal prosecutor Doug Burns. And joining us is Trump attorney Lindsay Halligan. Thanks to you gentlemen for coming back. And sure. Lindsay, we appreciate having you on. You have represented, Lindsay, former President Trump in other cases. Um, we have been hearing that he is in good spirits. But as Greta Van Susteren pointed out earlier, this is a moment where anyone, whether it's the lawyers or, of course, the defendant, jumps at, at any possible movement, anticipating what the jury might be doing. If they hear that buzzer, is there another note? Is there a verdict? Knowing the former president, where do you think he is right now mentally? Well, I think he wishes that he was out campaigning, but uh, this is Biden's America, where you trap your political opponent in a courtroom for months on end. But I think the longer the jury deliberates, the better President Trump looks in the court of public opinion. Wow. Uh, and here's why. I, if this was a bulletproof case with incredible evidence against President Trump, everyone would be talking about the facts that came into evidence that are just so shocking and so incredible. Uh, in other high profile cases, people talk about the actual allegations and whether they believe whether the person did it or not. Now, here, nobody is talking about the false, sal salacious allegations in this case. Nobody is talking about any of the alleged affairs. Instead, everyone, even on the left news stations, are talking about how confused they are about what the underlying crime is, how confusing the jury instructions are, and how conflicted the judge is, and how he's confusing the, ju the jury nonstop. Uh, here's another name we haven't talked about the last couple of days, Stormy Daniels. Oh, yes. <laughs> So what was the relevancy of her testimony? Um, they asked for David Pecker, Michael Cohen, the judge, to come back in and reread the instructions, um, I, maybe because it was an irrelevant testimony. Mm -hmm. Matt, what do you think? Well, a couple thoughts on that is, obviously, the prosecution was trying to get everything they possibly could into this case to paint Donald Trump as a, as a bad figure mm -hmm. uh, and to, to cause prejudice in the jur jurors' minds, um, because ultimately this case is about these alleged uh, document falsifications, and then they've you know done this kind of three-card Monty trick uh, to enhance it to a, these felonies with a Chinese menu uh, of potential uh, crimes that would enhance these to felonies. I, I you know, I, I look at this case and I just think this is exactly uh, what our founding fathers were concerned about. Um, and this is why they had juries. And I, and I hope they were right with the juries, because when you get a corrupt judge coupled with a politically motivated prosecutor, uh, you know, the only savior of the American system of liberty uh, and equal protection of the law and all of the things that we hold so dear and under our constitutional system of justice is the jury of 12 ordinary citizens that our founding fathers believed <clears throat> could be the final backstop on, on, on a situation like this where a man is targeted politically for prosecution. Yeah, Doug, let's continue that, what uh, Matt was saying. You and I were talking about it earlier.